Welcome to the Craft Corner with Parks and Rec. I'm Penny Green and I'm the Assistant Manager at the Burt Craft Rec Center. And today I have a little scientist helper, Miss Aubrey L with me. And we are going to make a rainbow after the storm. For this project, you are going to need a large clear glass, some water, shaving cream, and food coloring. And it doesn't hurt to have a separate vessel for each of the colors you want to see come out of your rainbow. For time's sake, I've already put a little bit of food coloring in each cup to give us our red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet, the colors of the rainbow. And I'm gonna have Aubrielle pour a little bit of water into each cup. That'll work. We're just gonna give it a little swirl. coloring we have we have red yellow green and blue and to get the orange what colors did we add we added red and yellow and what did we use to add the violet or the purple we did blue and red right so the next step so in our cups we have our colors of the rainbow and you don't have to do every color like we did all you have to do is the colors you want to see present in your rainbow. I'm going to go ahead and pour this. You get to do the fun part, okay? So there is our water. And if you will go ahead and spray some of the shaving cream into the top. And what do you think the shaving cream is going to be? The clouds. The clouds, okay. There's our clouds and our rainbow. Now, what you could use is a pipette or a little dropper. What we are going to use is just, I'm gonna pour this carefully into the cup a little bit at a time. And then what you'll see happening is as our clouds get full, they will become saturated and our rainbow will start dripping down. shaving cream. And you can see our color is still hanging out in the clouds a little bit. We're gonna until we get our rainbow. And so I do have a plate under our cup just to catch the messes. It'll start falling once it gets too heavy. It's coming. Wait, was the shaving cream fall? No, I think the shaving cream is lighter. Is that all of our food coloring? Yeah. All right. Well, there is our rainbow after the storm. We hope you guys enjoyed this fun little science project on the craft corner. We'll see you next time. Hi, welcome to Kids in the Kitchen with Parks and Rec. My name is Penny Green and I'm the assistant manager with the Burt Cobb Rec Center. Today we are gonna make two ingredient orange sherbet ice cream. For this recipe, you will need orange soda and sweetened condensed milk. To make this, all you will need is 
two cups of orange soda of your choice, and one can of sweetened condensed milk. So let's get this started. You're going to take the sweetened condensed milk, put it in a large bowl, of the orange soda. For time's sake, of course, I went ahead and pre-made some of this, and my sous chef is bringing it to us as we speak. So you can see how the recipe turned out. This is my daughter, Casey. Hello. So we while I finish this, I'm gonna have Casey dish us up some ice cream. So you are just gonna whip this up. Tupperware container. Like that. Slap a lid on it. Stick it in the freezer overnight and enjoy. really yummy two ingredient treat on a nice hot summer day. That's Kids in the Kitchen with Parks and Rec. Enjoy. Hello, I'm Kadena Baldwin with Cleaner Recreation Center for the City of Clarksville Parks and Recreation. Um, today I would like to teach you guys how to make stress balls with just flour and balloons. We are also using an empty water bottle dry. So, the equipment that you will need are flour, an empty dry water bottle, permanent markers, scissors, string or yarn, and a good set of lungs. All right, the first step, take the water bottle and a funnel. It's the last piece of equipment that you will need. First step, the water bottle, the funnel, and the flour. flour into the funnel, into the bottle, and you must pour at least, let's see, three-fourths of flour into the bottle. So this is the most time-consuming part. It's <laughs> getting all the flour into the bottle. If you don't know what three fourths is, just get it above the top of the label, and you should be good when you're filling your balloon up with the flour. Yeah, 
good going flour. So I will open the new bag. And again, these items can be purchased at your local dollar stores. Or it might be something that you already have in your pantry. ones we have on display are a female and then the blue one is a male. Take your balloon, spread out a little bit, then we're gonna blow some air. After you blow enough air, To your balloon. You don't need a lot of air, just enough space in the balloon to get all the flour from the water bottle. Once you're done, you take the balloon back up. Oops, I spilled it. <laughs> but Tie the balloon off. Release some air. And voila, there's your stress ball. Now, you decorate. Your face is what you do next. Some people get fancy with their faces. We have a unicorn face and we have a plain face. I'm gonna make some eyebrows on my face, eyes, a nose, and a very happy smile. There's my face. Next, I'm gonna get some hair, got some pre-cut yarn, tie it to the top. Some people use rubber bands to keep it tied on. I'm gonna use another set of string. To use to tie it around my yarn. So I got the string tied around, then I come around and I loosen the hair by making it free, cutting the ends off, cutting the loops off. And 
warm up. Now, we have a free going stretch splash. Hi, welcome to Storytime with Parks and Rec. I'm Penny Green and I'm the assistant manager at the Burt Cobb Rec Center. And today I have my pup PJ here. She's gonna listen to the story with us. And the story I'm gonna read is a rainbow all around me. Not that boring, I haven't even started, dog. <laughs> Colors are in everything I see. A piece of the rainbow, you and me. Yellow, smiling faces, bright sunshine in the rain. Blue, cool, rugged, Sipping on a hot day, relaxing in the breeze. Red, hot, full of love. Cinnamon sweet, a happy Valentine. Colors are you, colors are me. Orange, fruity, tangy, popping in your mouth, bursting with flavor. Purple, wild, crazy, nutritious and delicious, jamming on the slice of bread. Black, the tapping, rhythm, moving feet, dancing to the beat. Colors are you, colors are me. Green, fresh, soft blades, tickling your toes, barefoot in the park. Pink, chewy, gooey, bubbling fun, sticking to your face. Brown, soft, huggable, comfort through the night, my best friend. Colors are you, colors are me. White, cold, crystalline, falling from the sky, melting on your tongue. What do you think they're talking about melting on your tongue? Think it's snow? Tan, gritty, itty bitty rocks, sparkling in the sunlight, castle made for a king. Colors, colors, they're in everything I see. We are the rainbow, you and me. Well, that was our story today. PJ, did you like the story? I think she's ready for a nap. We'll see you next time on the story time. Welcome to the Craft Corner with Parks and Rec. I'm Penny Green and I'm the assistant manager at the Burt Cobb Rec Center. And today I have my daughter Casey with me. Hi. And we are going to do a science experiment for you that goes along with our Color Your World Week during our virtual programming. And for this, you will need a plate, warm water, and some Skittles. For time's sake, we've already started with our pattern. I'm gonna have Casey finish this while we're talking. The goal is to go ahead and line the inner part of your plate with your Skittles. You don't have to do it in rainbow order, but just as a reminder, it's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet, or what we're gonna call it. Purple. Um, now, our Skittles don't have blue, so we are going to end up omitting that color. You could get blue Skittles if you got the wild tropical pack. ones. So, once we have the inner part of our plate lined up, we are just going to slowly pour the warm water in the middle. If you pour too fast, it will move. Yeah, it's going to move the Skittles. And what we're going to do is uh, we, it's already starting to happen. What's going to happen is the colors from the rainbow or from the Skittles are going to start working inwards to the middle of the plate. This um, is a process called osmosis or the movement of yeah, so it's really cool. The water is just taking the coloring off the Skittles and it's working its way inward to the middle of the plate. And that's us growing some rainbows. So not only can you grow rainbows, 
you can taste the rainbow. We'll see you next time on the Craft Corner with Parks and Rec. Bye guys. Bye. Hi guys. My name's Penny and I'm the assistant manager at the Burt Cobb Rec Center where I am today. And for this segment of the Craft Corner with Parks and Rec, we are gonna do hidden rainbows. This little stem project is gonna require a piece of paper towel, some water, a black permanent marker, and then the six colors in our rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple of our washable markers. To do this, you are gonna simply do a line for each color in our rainbow. And you're gonna to try to leave a space between them. So we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Or if you go according to the Roy G. Bib, it would be considered violet. So once your paper towel looks like mine, then you're gonna take that black permanent marker you have, and you're going to trace over the lines you just drew. Making sure that you cover the whole line. going to take a little bit of a steady hand so I would say for this project we're probably looking at seven or eight on up but everyone can sit and enjoy and watch the magic happen in just a minute. I've got my orange line covered. Working on my yellow. And as you can see, I've just been tracing over the colored line that we had drawn originally. And then just continue that for all six of the colors. Make certain that if you um, are having the kids do this project, I have my glass um, cutting board down or one of the tablecloths from the Dollar Tree or something like that because you don't want to ruin any of your furniture. Okay, we got the last arch in the rainbow. All right, once you have that, you are going to take, this is the fun part, if you have a medicine dropper, you can use that. I just like to use my fingers and we're gonna dribble the water and you are going to start seeing the rainbow come through. If you're impatient and don't want to take the time to do drops by drops, you can always submerse it in a container of water also. And you can see how our rainbows have peaked through. It kind of gives a really groovy tie-dye effect. But there you guys have it. That's Hidden Rainbows on the Craft Corner. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye. Hi, welcome to Storytime with Parks and Rec. I'm Penny Green, the Assistant Manager at the Burt Cobb Rec Center. And today, my co-star is my pup, Penny Jean, who we lovingly call PJ. The story we're gonna read today is called Run to the Rainbow. by Margaret Hilliard. Oh, look, look at that. Do you see what I see? Look at that. Look up, up, up. Look way up. How pretty it is. I see something red. 
I see yellow, I see blue, I see this. Look where it goes. We can go too. We can find out where it goes. We can run and we can find it. Come on out now. Out, out, out. Go, go, go. This is the way. One, two, three, here we go. Run, run, run. This is fun. I see it, I see it. Look at that. Do you see that? Come on, oh, come on. Oh no, that is not it. See what it is? That is not it. I guess we will have to go on. We will look, look, look. Now, what is that? What do you see? This looks good. It is pretty. Mother likes it, but it is not what we want. Come on, come on, run, run, run. I see something and something looks like it. You see what kind of looks like a rainbow? Is this it? Is this it down the here? No, I guess not. Not this, not this. Cars make this. That would be the oil from the car it made the rainbow. Here we go, away, away, away. We will find it. See that, see that? Oh, look, like it, but it is not the big one. It's a little one and I can make a little one too. Look what I can do. Do you like this little one? Now where can we go? What is that? I see something. Run, run, run. Oh, look here. Look here. Something for us to eat. Something good, good, good. We did not find it. We did not find the big one. I guess we cannot go where it is. Here it is. Oh, here it is. Come look here. Now, this is not it, but it looks like it. It is pretty, and it is here where we are. This is good. And that would be the story, Run to the Rainbow by Margaret Hilliard. This is a really good book for younger readers because there are a lot of CVC words, so consonant, vowel, consonant. It allows them the opportunity to sound them out. We'll see you next time on the story time.